today. So we're back in the portable spray booth and we're about to put uh, the a coat of primer surfacer on the tank. Now you may recall we've already done a guide coat and we had a pretty impressive tank that um, sanded up pretty good. So I'm going to put another coat of primer surfacer on it but I'm not going to do a second guide coat. Now for those of you who feel that their tank uh, needed extra work and then required a second guide coat, uh, just say you had to do some filling or something like that, um, then uh, the second guide coat is pretty much the same as the first. So if you go back to that first guide coat video and, and uh, the sanding video that followed that, it'll give you the same instructions that you would use to continue with the guide coats. All of your guide coats are basically the same. So with this guy here, um, it's actually in good condition and, um, and I'm quite happy about that. What I have here is a 32 year old, at, at the time this video was made, it's 32 years old, this tank. Uh, it's the tail end of 2020 and um, it's 32 years old and there's no rust inside it and the outside's relatively straight. Uh, there's a bit of filler on the front. Um, I often look at that by the way and I think that that's probably caused by being shipped from Japan to Australia. This particular bike was imported as a grey import at the turn of the century from Japan and um, when they import them they just stuff them into containers and the importer picks them out carefully at the other end and sees what sort of luck he's had. So often things like tanks are damaged and um, you know they, they simply repair them and this could have been the source of the original respray of the bike uh, which was quite a good quality respray in my opinion anyway enough conjecture about how many MC19s you can stuff into a shipping container let's jump in and we'll, um, I'm going to time lapse this because you've seen me apply a primer before in the other video exactly the same same thing So that was the first coat, now here's the second. So that was the second coat, done about five minutes after the first coat. The first coat was very light, very light indeed. Uh, the second coat you may have spotted possibly was a bit heavier. Uh, we're going to do a third coat. Um, we're going to let the second coat dry for about 10 or 15 minutes this time around um, and then we'll go in there and we'll do a, a fairly heavy third coat. Then we're going to give that an hour to dry and then we're going to flip the tank over and, and do the top. So that was the second coat, up next is the third. And that was the third coat. So we're going to let that dry, probably give it at least half an hour, more like an hour. Um, Recoat time according to this primer's directions is an hour. So an hour is a fair thing I guess. Um, now when I say recoat I actually mean top coat. So after an hour the instructions say you can top coat it. It seems a little bit short for my liking but still um, so anyway we're going to give it that time then we'll flip her over and then we'll do the top side so that's our first coat a very light coat we're going to give that five minutes and then give it the second Now that was the second coat, and we're about to do the third, in about 10 minutes. Now something I should point out is that 
The drying time of your paint is dependent on the weather as well as many other factors, including the paint itself. So today it's quite hot, it's well over 30 degrees, about 33, 34. Um, so paint's drying really quickly. This particular paint too, it, um, I can really smell the, the, um, the, the uh, thinning agent in it. Um, so I, I just know that this paint is going to flash off real quick in this temperature. Um, if you find that your paint still looks really, really wet when you go to repaint it, um, give it a few more minutes to flash off. You know, just let, it, let, the, let the surface of it dry before you put on another coat. Anyway, we're going to do a third coat on this one next. And that's pretty much it. Uh, from here, we're going to give the paint a good two days or so, at least a day, but probably more like two. Um, and we're just going to let it harden right off. Um, that'll make sanding a little bit more time consuming, but it'll also mean that we'll end up with a better finish. Uh, so from here, we don't touch, we just let it do its thing and dry.